Hi everyone, my name is Miss Hannah. I'm from the Ballet Kinwood Library, and since it gets very cold this time of year, I thought that we could make one of our friend animals that loves the cold a polar bear. So for this polar bear, it's actually super simple. You're just going to need a couple of items to make our polar bear. So first you'll need a piece of blue paper. I have construction paper. The thicker paper will probably work the best. You'll also need a paintbrush some white paint since the polar bear fur is white and finally a marker i have a sharpie but a washable marker will probably work better um i would just recommend that it be a black marker so that we can draw the features the face and the claws onto our polar bear but again this is another craft where you are going to get messy we are making a handprint polar bear which means we are going to paint our whole hand white and then place it down on the paper. So if you don't like to get messy, don't want to get paint on you, skip to the next activity or just watch this one, sit this one out. But I like to get messy. I like to paint my hands. So we are going to get started and make sure we wear old clothes that we are okay with getting some paint on just in case. All right, so let's make our handprint polar bear. So to make our handprint polar bear, you are going to take the blue piece of paper, put it on the flat surface on the table, and then again, this is about to get messy, so take the white paint, I'm going to shake mine, and we're going to paint our hand. So you're going to want to paint your non-dominant hand, so that's the hand that you don't write with, you don't paint with, the other hand from me, that's my left hand. So I am going to squeeze the paint directly onto my hand, a little handful of paint, take our paintbrush and spread it out all over my hand. You kind of want to give a good amount of paint all over. You kind of want to work fast also so that it doesn't start drying on your hand. Get kind of in between my fingers. around the back of your thumb, all over the palm of your hand. To something like that. Then you're gonna take your hand and spread your fingers a little bit apart and carefully place it on the paper. You're gonna maybe wiggle it around a little bit. And this is gonna create the body of the polar bear and then slowly, carefully lift up your hand, just like that. So you might end up with mine with a hole in the middle. So I'm actually going to put a little bit more paint on my hand since it's already messy. I take my paintbrush and I'm going to fill in a little bit in the middle. This is going to be the body of our polar bear. We don't want him to have any holes. So fill in any spots that didn't get enough paint and I'm also going to paint a little more on my thumb we're gonna make the head so the thumb is gonna be the head so you might want to take your thumb and put a couple extra thumb prints around where the head will be fill it in a little and this is gonna be his neck so we want to make it a little a little thicker kind of like that and I'm also going to fill in my fingers a little bit because these are going to be his legs we don't want him to have little stick legs So once you fill it all in, it should look something like that, like a handprint with a little bit thicker on the end of the thumb for the polar bear's head. 
So I'm gonna go wash off my hand and we're gonna let the paint dry. So I'm gonna let my paint dry for about 30 minutes, half an hour. And once it's dry, then we can put on his features like his eyes, his ears, his claws, and all of the things that make him look like a polar bear. So let's let our paint dry and I'll see you back when it's ready to create his face. So after patiently waiting for about an hour, my handprint polar bear is now dry. So we can start making his face and his feet and his claws and all of the things that make him actually look like a polar bear and not just a handprint. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually turn it upside down. And now you can kind of see this is gonna be his head, here are his legs. So first I'm gonna draw on his face. So up here where your thumb is, we're gonna make his head. So I'm gonna do two ears. I'm gonna do a C shape for his ears. And then we do two eyes. A little nose and a mouth. It'll look like that. And finally, on each of his four legs, at the very bottom where his feet are, we're going to give him three claws. So you just do three lines for his claws. He should look something like that. So the final step is we're going to take our scissors, or maybe have mom and dad help, and we're going to cut in between. I'm not going to go the whole way down. I'm going to cut in between and cut him out of the paper. So leave a little bit of space, a little bit of the blue background. Maybe it's the sky in the background. in between his legs. And around the back. Like that. So once you're all finished making his features and his claws and his face, and cutting him out should look something like this. Now mine, I am seeing we're gonna need to add some paint here to his neck and mine's kind of goofy looking because I have really long fingers. So he's got super long legs, but that's okay. It can look however, however you want it to look and you can display it however you want to. But I would of course, as always, love to see how yours turned out. Maybe yours looks a little less silly than mine. Maybe you have a little bit smaller hands so his legs aren't quite so long. But hey, it's all about however you wanna do it and how it turns out. Anything that you make will be beautiful and we'd love to see it. So please share it with us in the comments. I'd love to see your polar bear. I'd love to see where you're gonna display it. Are you gonna frame it? Are you gonna put it on the fridge? What does it look like? So please share it with us and remember to join us again next Friday for another fun video. Bye.